Well, the 2020 housing market saw some historically low interest rates. And as we approach the new year, many home buyers are wondering, will that trend continue? Joining us this morning with more on what to expect is mortgage loan originator Brian Sachs. Good morning, Brian. Good to see you. It's great to see you, Mindy. How are you? I'm doing great. I hope you are, too. And there were yes. some really eye-opening stats in the housing market for November. Tell us about that. Well, there, there, there's really good news and bad news in our market. The, the good news is that rates are extremely low. They're, as you said, historically low. The bad news, there's no inventory. There simply aren't enough homes for sale. Homes are going very, very quickly. As you see, an average of eight days where uh, many of my buyers are putting in multiple contracts for multiple homes. Wow. So if you're a seller, great time to sell. If you're a buyer, still a great time to buy but you have to be prepared for a seller's market. How about that? I feel like we haven't heard that in a while, <laughs> that it's a seller's yes. market. And so as we've been saying, 2020 saw those record low interest rates. So what do we expect for 2021? Is it going to continue? Well, some other good news, you know, to account for the rise in home prices, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac and FHA have raised the loan limits, allowing uh, people to accommodate for that rise in home prices. So here's my prediction for 2021. We're probably likely to see low interest rate into the first half of 2021. We will continue to see a shortage of homes coming on the market. So there's not enough inventory for the demand right now. Some of the opportunities though, if you haven't refinanced, what a great time. Don't miss this boat. Truly, because we may never see low interest rates as low as this ever again. Um, to give you a comparison, Mindy, when I started in this business, rates were 18 and a half percent. Wow. We now have 15 year mortgages with a one in front of them. I never thought we would ever see that. What a tremendous time to be involved in real estate and refinancing and, uh, you know, purchasing your first home. Wow. So the bottom line is here, contract, contact your mortgage broker and check that interest rate that you currently have, because like you're saying, the window is not going to be open forever. Yeah, it's ironic. We've been refinancing folks that we refinanced 12 months ago. Yeah. Rates have come down that much. So great time to renovate your property. There are renovation loans out there. And when you're refinancing, always consider maybe cutting the term of your loan. That could save you even more money than just your monthly savings. Right, so those are some positive things yes, <laughs> amidst yes. all this. Crazy year, but right. all good. All right, Brian Sachs, so good to see you. Thank you so much this good morning. Good to see you, Mindy, all thank right. you.